Good afternoon. My name is Stella Masinski, and I'm reporting live from our headquarters here in Madison. Um, I'm giving you updates on our impending volcanic eruption, and I'm currently on call with two volcanic specialists, Dr. Rembrandt and Dr. Smith. So first off, Dr. Rembrandt, can you tell us what hazards we have to look out for for this upcoming volcanic eruption? The first hazard are lava flows. Lava flows are mainly a hazard to property destruction, so please evacuate accordingly as lava flows very slow at land surface, so um, it will destroy pretty much anything in its path. The second hazard are pyroclastics. Pyroclastics are essentially volcanic bombs that are shot into the air. And it's mainly only a hazard to people or things in the near vicinity of volcanic eruptions, but they're very, very dangerous and will come at you at unexpected times. There are also volcanic ash is also associated with volcanic eruptions. Um, volcanic ash is fine grained powder rock that erupts over huge areas. So this will be a hazard for people that aren't necessarily even in the close proximity to the, the volcano. Volcanic ash is a problem because it causes severe breathing problems, pollutes water supplies, um, and in addition, if water, any sort of moisture, water or snow is in the, is mixed with it, it can cause lahars. Finally, toxic outgassing is the, is a hazard associated with volcanic eruptions as well. The main gases here are sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide and CO2 can basically hug the ground and this will kill all plants and animals as well as humans as it will suffocate you. And um, sulfur dioxide, when mixed with water, can create sulfuric acid, which is extremely harmful. Thank you, Dr. Rembrandt. Next up is Dr. Smith, who's going to be telling us about some of the positive aspects of a volcanic eruption. And although there are a lot of hazards and a lot of negatives to a volcanic eruption, there are plenty of benefits as well. So first of all, the ash and fine-grained ejecta actually create fertile and muddy soil, so this can be beneficial for the planting season and for the crops to grow in. And additionally, with the steeply sloping snow-covered peaks, those can be converted into ski resorts or in the summertime, that can be a great source for water supply. And then additionally, with a lot of geothermal activity going on, um, there are a lot of mineral deposits. So these are basically created by the hot water passing through the magma and this can attract, extract uh, the gold, sulfur, and other valuable elements. And so this also allows us to look for a lot of like precious metals and additionally um, this creates hot springs and a lot of energy potential. Thank you both for these important updates and information. Um, everyone stay tuned for our next segment at six o'clock.